All right, I just mentioned Halloween, and of course, Halloween and sugar pretty much go hand in hand. But consuming all those treats could be leading to addiction and actually contributing to the epidemic of obesity in the United States. Across the nation, advocates for a sugar free Halloween are calling today Sugar Addiction Awareness Day. Joining us this morning is nutrition expert and FM 107 radio host, Darlene Kavis. Thanks so much for joining us, Dar, this morning. We appreciate it. Very nice to be here. Thank you for having me. All right, this and I'm talking my favorite topic, you know, nutrition. Yeah. Yes, it is your favorite topic and an important topic. And even though we're about to get on the big candy day, boy, this is the time that we should be thinking about all that sugar addiction that is out there. First of all, what is sugar addiction? Well, it is when you can't stop with one. You know, sometimes, uh, well, just for instance, if people go out and buy a bag of candy to give to the trick and treaters, mm -hmm. a lot of those people will say, well, I should really sample this candy. <laughs> and then pretty soon they sample another one and another one and another one and the bag's gone. So then they go to their backup stack, mm -hmm. you know, and then they open that bag and pretty soon that bag is gone. Then they have to go out and buy another. Or, you know, how about the clients that tell me all the time they make this uh, pan of brownies. Uh huh. Well, they have to try just a little bit, you know. Well, that, yeah, that's like the fork. You just stick the fork uh -huh. in it because if you just take a little bit, you're really not eating it. That's right. But you just keep going. So then you eat, eat and eat and eat until all the squares are gone. And then you have, and your family hasn't had any. Right. <laughs> you just ate it all yourself. You know, and I think a lot of people, as you point this out, are, are kind of kidding themselves about how much they do eat. Oh. Especially like with, you know, M&Ms, if you keep a bowl of M&Ms around, or, or like the candy bars. If you just grab one for now, if you have it an hour later, you're still, you're still counting that as possible addiction. Well, yes. And look at, I mean, this is, this is actually how much sugar that most individuals oh. consume in one day. And you mentioned earlier that is uh, if you go to the movies and get the great big box of dots, which I love. Yes. All of that sugar in that one is, box. That's the sugar in one box of dots. And here's the, here's the sugar that's in one Coke. So mm -hmm. it's easy to consume that. Mm -hmm. And some people think the juice is better. Well, mm. look at all the sugar that's in juice. Yeah, definitely. And, and so, you know, that's important for kids, especially who love to drink their juice. And of course, we're talking about because the health impacts here are huge. So like 39% of the population now is either diabetic or pre-diabetic. So it's a health problem. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's interesting, the difference between addiction and just having a piece of candy once in a while right. is that people can't stop with one. It's just like any other addiction. Mm -hmm. And it's similar to, it's a biochemical problem. And what we do nutritionally is help people balance that biochemically so that they have less cravings. Well, how do you break that cycle of addiction? Well, I mean, that's, that's hard. Well, one of the things is the more sugar you eat, the more you want. Hmm. So getting people to understand that, the more sugar you eat, the more you want, then you have to make some other choices. And I think a lot of, especially a lot of women or people that are really busy, they tend to skip meals. Right. Does that ever happen to you? Mm, <laughs> actually, quite a bit. I, I skip and I think I'm doing okay, and then yeah, I end up eating something I shouldn't. Yep, and that's what happens. So we teach people how to eat every two to three hours in balance. You know, like a little bit of protein, which is good for your brain, a little bit of good carbohydrates like vegetables, and healthy fat like olive oil or nuts or something like that. And lo and behold, their cravings go away. Sure. They talk about, you know, we, because we've been working with clients for over 30 years, helping people get rid of their addiction to sugar. Mm -hmm. and, and it's really changing your frame of mind. But I think a lot of parents out there, including myself, are kind of saying, oh, but, you know, it's Halloween. What's wrong with one day of splurging? And, you know, nothing. If you don't have a child that has that kind of that biochemistry mm -hmm. that's going to set them up. Because I know some of my clients will say, well, once they have that, one taste of sugar or that one bag of Halloween candy, it takes them three months to get rebalanced again. Wow, wow. And you know, real quick, you meant we were talking about this, and I think this is interesting that carb addiction, sugar addiction, addiction. pretty much the same thing. Because exactly. carbs are sugar, essentially. Exactly. All and right. you know, it's just the same thing as if a person has an alcohol addiction, they can't have one drink or they're right back on it All right. or if they for some people if they have one candy bar they're right back on it or one brownie they're right back on it All but right. other people they can have 
of a candy bar and there's no problem. All right, well, some great reminders as we head into Halloween, as you look at your kid's big, giant bag of Halloween candy, just keep all of that in mind that there is such thing as sugar addiction and it can be very dangerous to your health. Thanks so much, Darlene, we appreciate yes, thank it. thank you. And you can hear her radio show, Dishing Up Nutrition, at weightandwellness.com. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right.